so what we have behind us is Sylvia, my wife's bus. I got it for her birthday. <laughs> and uh, Sylvia should be the source of many, many adventures. But as you can see, Sylvia looks horrible. So <clears throat> Sylvia spent her, the beginning of her life in uh, Buckeye Union School District in, right outside of Sacramento. Uh, she was then purchased by a whitewater rafting company who used her and painted her white. As you can see there, with a really poor paint job, we purchased her in November of 2021 and proceeded to drive her 2,900 miles back across the country. 29. Where we hope to refit her uh, into an RV and go take many adventures. But the first thing we got to do is paint her a decent color. Uh, my wife and I decided on and the boy and my son Sam Sam who has excellent taste. Who does have excellent taste. Uh, he, uh, we decided on a 55 Chevy, <laughs> 55 Chevy color scheme, uh, which is Indian ivory and regal turquoise. Um, the problem with painting a bus is the fact that it's a bus. They're massive and, uh, you know, they, they just take a lot of paint. So the first thing I did uh, was try to narrow in what kind of paint we're going to use. A lot of folks use Rust-Oleum which I think puts in a pretty good paint job and, and works pretty good. Uh, from what I understand, any subsequent paint jobs to that has to strip all the Rust-Oleum off because it doesn't jive with other paint jobs. Um, I wanted a high quality paint, uh, something that's gonna last a long time, something that's gonna be uh, close to the equivalent of uh, a, good, a good auto paint. So what we're landing on is a, is a single stage acrylic, which is what they, uh, what they shot cars with for 50, 60 years works really good. Um, I wanted a good brand of acrylic. Uh, you know, if you buy an auto acrylic, they're, they're three, two, three, four hundred bucks a gallon. Um, I think we're going to land on PPG's uh, ALK 200. Uh, it's a synthetic enamel. Uh, it's, it's a, uh, it's a synthetic enamel, but it's, it's a, their industrial line which I hear shoots pretty much like, uh, like their, their Omni, which is their, their car line. So, and, it, and it's, it's 60 bucks a gallon, which is in Rust-Oleum range. So you're getting a really good quality uh, paint, uh, a single stage that is, uh, should lay down really nice. Um, anyway, that's, that's, that's coming later, but <clears throat> right now uh, we have to sand this gigantic bus. Uh, the problem we're running into is the rivets, we the flat get stuff. To, we get to sand this we gigantic. We get to sand place. Sylvia, the giant Twinkie. She's not uh, work. She's pleasure. <laughs> the problem we're running into sanding is the rivets. Um, I want to lay down a nice paint job. It's not a show car, but it's a bus. But I still want it to look nice. Um, and so that 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 you know that involves doing a lot of a lot of a lot of sanding, a lot of work. Um, so we're going to figure the rivet thing out. If we can get around them and get, get down to a, a you know, good metal and get the bad paint off, we're good to go uh, with, with hand tools. If not, I'm probably going to pay somebody to blast the hard to get areas uh, with a dustless blaster. It's a water-based process. But for now, that's it. We're probably going to show you the progress as we go. Um, but this is kind of the beginning, and so we're, we're really happy and uh, glad, to get start glad to get started. Good stuff, dude. One thing we're figuring out is that um, if your bus is just yellow, you're probably in pretty good shape. Uh, roughing up the paint with a 400 grit or something like that, not that big a deal. Uh, because this paint, uh, because this bus was painted very poorly uh, with the white paint, most of it's got to go because we don't know how it's going to adhere. Uh, so um, that's causing this to be significant more work than it will be if this were just yellow and, and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, overall, we've been sanding for a couple of hours and you know, got, got a pretty good bit done, pretty happy about it. Uh, you know, it's, it's half of one side of the bus, which is a lot of real estate. Uh, the windows take up a, a quite, quite a bit uh, more of the side of the bus, and then it goes to the top, which I don't think is gonna be that bad. Uh, so all in all, we're looking, at good, looking in pretty good shape. Got a couple hours sanding, um, looking good to go. 
So this is day three and a half or four of sanding the bus. Uh, one thing I underestimated is just how much surface area a bus has. But you can see we've made pretty good progress. Um, I am reluctant to uh, pull all of the stuff off, uh, lights and stuff, and get around those to drive it in case I got to go somewhere. Um, but you know, pretty good progress. Uh, sand it all the way around this uh, this side I started on yesterday and you can see that I have uh, made significant progress pretty much did this by myself which uh, my son's sick and my wife was taking care of him so <laughs> they couldn't be out here the the difference and why I was able to go much faster with this side is uh, I used a actually an 80 grit sandpaper which is usually kind of unheard of in auto body work. Uh, but um, I learned that uh, Crown used something called uh, Emron paint uh, on these buses. And uh, Emron back in, in the 80s, when you could paint it, was, was basically kind of the best, toughest paint around. It's what they painted airplanes and stuff with. And so um, it actually held up shockingly well to 80 grit. And so I'm gonna come back over this and hit it real quick with 220 uh, to flatten it out before I put the sealer or whatever else I'm putting on it. But uh, yeah, did a pretty did a pretty good job yesterday. Um, got all the way to here uh, with my progress, <clears throat> and so that's kind of where I left it off at. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get back at it today. It's about 9:30. I didn't get up too early, uh, but uh, gonna do that. Uh, still hadn't heard back from the sandblaster. I got a uh, reached out to a sandblaster just to just to get the the hard stuff. I'm kind of waiting back for a quote. I will likely be done with it by the time I get get a quote, and I'll just shoot it myself. Not a big deal. But uh, yeah, that's that's where we are. Uh, big project, a lot of surface area again. My arms are basically killing me at the end of the day because I'm 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 effectively putting pressure on a sander for six eight hours a day. And it's just my arms are perpetually flexed. And so I woke up really sore this morning, which, uh, yeah, I'm kind of feeling my age a little bit. But, uh, yeah, re really happy about this. Um, looks like, uh, I, you know, I'm optimistic, but maybe we'll be able to shoot in just a couple of days. Uh, you know, at least get some primer, get a sealer on it, uh, make it look like it's, a, uh, you know, a less crappy looking Twinkie. So... Anyway, that's where we're at. More to come. As you can see right now, we've got the side down here mostly sanded. All right, and so sanding the great big panels isn't a big issue. We're hitting them with 220 grit. Um, and you can see, you know, we did a pretty good job. It's, it's really flat. Um, there's a problem with this bus. It has 11 million rivets. And so you can see them right here. Um, sanding this stuff is not hard. Like I said, it doesn't take long. Getting the round, around the rivets is, is a pretty significant problem. Um, <clears throat> so I've tried a bunch of different stuff. I've tried wire brushes. I've tried, you know, you name it, uh, pretty much everything. Um, and, and hadn't really found a great answer. I could have it sandblasted, have the bus sandblasted, and got quoted uh, about a $3,000 price tag, which, you know, that's not going to happen. <clears throat> so um, I need to come, come, come up with a way, uh, or I needed to come up with a way to uh, sand the bus and, and get the loose stuff off of the rivets and try to flatten the paint out uh, on top of them pretty good. In addition, the way this bus is built... I don't know if you can see it right here, but there's an open space right here. So the way these buses are made, the rain that falls in here goes behind this panel. I think this is all this is all stainless back there, but it comes out and, it, and is ejected right here. So up under here, you may be able to see it. I have some of these little spots right here that had some oxidation. So this is aluminum. It doesn't rust real bad. It just kind of oxidizes and makes a powder, you know, but I, I wasn't going to paint over that because uh, that would just be substandard um, but I was going to show you where where I what what I got to as far as um, getting in the rivets go so uh, 
what we have right here is a it's a roll lock bristle brush brush bristle brush uh, made by 3m so um, the bristles are coated with a uh, like a uh, uh, an abrasive so you basically spin this and it's just like hitting not hitting it with a wire wheel but hitting it with an, an abrasive wheel with i don't know it's kind of weird um, one thing that you'll notice is my, it's hot glued on so the attachment, uh, this the atta the way these things attach is just horrible. Um, I called uh, a 3M and they're like, "Oh, you must have got a bad one." These, these brushes are like ten bucks a piece. So I went through two uh, bad ones from two different locations apparently, and I just basically hot glued this thing on. Uh, but uh, it has a particular utility when getting between the uh, the rivets, and I'll show you. Um, you know, you can kind of pick a spot like right here. This is really rough. The paint's bad. I just need to get this the, the, the bad stuff off so you can... So you can see um, this flattens everything out. It, it takes a little while. Um, you know, again, I, I could have it blasted. Uh, but I, I just, you know, I don't want to do it. I, I don't want to, it's, it's just a hassle. I've called a couple of uh, blasters in the area. They don't want to mess with it either. Um, so here we are. Um, just, just a little update though. Uh, making some good progress. Uh, going slower than I expected. Fighting the weather here. But, uh, you know, here we are. All right, this is day whatever of me working on the bus again. Um, decided to... Uh, Go break out my pressure washer, which uh, rigid 3,000 psi, 2.6 gallon per minute, with the Robin Subaru motor. I bought it years ago. Um, was hoping to, you know, maybe clean this up a little bit. And by the way, this was at the suggestion of my wife. I did not think that my pressure washer would be able to rip the paint completely off of this thing. Um, I was mistaken. So uh, you can see um, basically the white on the side that I, that was troubling me so bad is is uh, being just peeled right off. We're getting down to the original coat, uh, the first coat of paint on this thing. So you can tell the difference in how well each successive paint layer has adhered. Right, the the original coat's largely largely untouched, and the other stuff's just being ripped right off. Um, you know, looking into my rivet problem, also, uh, you know, I'll sh I just did a little test area right here, and uh, yeah, with the with the right head on the gun, it just peels the paint. Ow, crap! This stuck something in my finger. Um, it just peels the paint completely off. Right, so um, don't really need a blaster. Uh, sandblaster that was going to run me 200 bucks an hour um, I will use my pressure washer uh, so if you're up against this and I have a bus that has like a weird paint job or whatever um, yeah go buy you about a $400 uh, rigid pressure washer and uh, yeah it'll just peel the paint right off of this thing now it's not fast right it's not remarkably fast I'm not you know this has taken me probably 45 minutes, uh, maybe a little bit longer, but it is faster than sanding it. So, um, and I'm learning how to do it a little bit better as, as I go, so I'm getting faster. Uh, but anyway, that's that's kind of where we're at, uh, day like five of sanding this bus. Um, I had initially uh, got the, the, the pressure washer to try to get the paint up top, which is already peeling uh, and, you know, trying to get it off but it this is going to rip it off no problem um this stuff on the sides is adhered pretty good this stuff at the top that's peeling is going to come right off so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna get it clean up top uh after i get the sides uh get it clean up top and uh yeah we'll we'll, we'll we will likely have this thing painted in the, by the end of the year and it's december 23rd right now so i'm 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 being optimistic but i feel pretty good about this so more to come later.